hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're if today is your first time meeting me my name is bella and you are welcome okay so kindly give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful like share comment okay so today we'll be making this lovely 3d bidding wire works you know that this is trendy now okay and it makes your garment to pop okay so if this is what you like to learn keep watching so the materials you will be needing uh you need your beads so in this plate i have sand beads okay in here i have the bigger pearl beads okay so um you'll be needing your uh copper wire this is um 0.8 millimeter here okay so let's get started to make your 3d beadings as you've seen like this these are the ones i've made okay so to make yours all you need is your copper wire and your creativity okay so i'll cut out some i actually didn't measure okay so you pick your beads, not that you can use any kind of beads. I actually prefer using bigger beads, okay? These are bigger beads because it's it's visible and it will make your work faster, okay? But I, I don't have bigger beads in blue color and what I'm working on is blue color. So that is why I'm using the available sand beads, okay? So please note you can use any beads of your choice. So all you need to do is to pick your your beads and pass it through your copper wire so here i am using five pieces each it is not compulsory you use five pieces you can use any amount if i'm using bigger beads i will just do one or two or three max but right now this is a smaller bead and i need it to be visible okay i need it to pop so as you've seen me doing, all you need to do is when you pass it through, you bring the, the two ends of your copper wire together and let it let the beads you pass through be in the middle. Okay, let the beads you pass through be in the middle and you squeeze. Okay, like you squeeze it and turn. So you squeeze as much as you want as you're squeezing it it is getting taller so the more you squeeze the more your branches are getting taller the the lesser you squeeze the lesser tall it gets okay so when you squeeze and you want to start another one you spread out like this okay you spread out the copper wire and you pass your beads again to you pass your beads again through the copper wire so you repeat you keep repeating this process okay so i have five beads here so now you're not making them to be equal again this time around no you just use your eye gauge to eyeball it and you can leave about one inch or two inches depends on how long you want the branches to be you just leave some here okay some of the copper wire you just leave them here and bend the remaining one okay that's one you leave is your space for um, turning and squeezing okay you can see it will form another branch okay so this is for the this first hand so for the second hand remember the first time you you have two hands so for the second hand you also repeat the same okay first of all you pass through you pass your beads in into the copper wire two three four so after passing your your beads in leave some space here for turning okay leave some space here if you're a perfectionist and you want all of them to to be the same length you can actually measure 
okay but doesn't really matter so if you're like me <laughs> that's i don't really mind having one longer than the other so please note that when you're squeezing depends on the the thickness of your copper wire don't squeeze too hard because my copper wire is not strong at all so if you squeeze through too hard it will cut so now we've successfully done um these three okay so you want to um like you want it to come down again this is the three we've successfully done okay so you want to create this this length or this space you want to create this space here all you need to do is to bring the two legs together again and squeeze so anywhere you're squeezing your automatic automatically creating um, a gap okay or another branch or another body to form another branch but you shall understand what I'm talking about okay anywhere you're squeezing you're trying to separate the ones you have you are, you have made so this is it you have successfully separated this so you can start another branch all over again so you continue this process till you're done so please note you can mix you can mix colors okay you can mix colors you can mix uh claw stones you can you can mix whatever you want to mix it depends on your creativity that is why i said initially that some of the things you need i mentioned your creativity okay so that's it that's how to create it you continue and until you're done okay until your desired length is achieved or the numbers you want is achieved okay so it's all about passing the beads twisting and twisting and twisting okay so that's basically it you twist and twist until you're satisfied you can see that this is quite long that's because the gap i left before twisting is long okay so this is it this is another branch i just created so you pass another bead through this one so basically it's like this you continue doing it like this okay until you're done so these are the ones i've made okay these are the ones i've made you can see they are beautiful so you you for for it to come out on your dress your capes on your dress or anywhere at, attaching it to you need them to be much if it's just one it won't really be popping it won't pop out so you need much for it to pop out okay by the time you're done with this you you will now see that it's popping out so let let me take us to the mannequin and show us how to attach it on our dress so for you to successfully put it on your cape or whatever your dress or anything okay i used glue gun so you get your glue gun attach it and whenever wherever you see this um 3d beading you always see it with all these um uh 3d petals you know some this kind of designs on it and i've taught how to make this okay in my previous video so click the description box below to get the link so i used my glue gun to attach it then use this 3d petals to cover it up okay so in the middle also i used the bigger pearls just to give it um a distinct or a captivating look okay it's all about your creativity so the, it, that is how to you can add all this that you've made 
this how to add it and sometimes you can use it on a dress without all this so you you just bid when you attach it with your gum you bid on that particular place to cover it up just as the, on the dress you're seeing on your screen right now you you attach it with gum and bid on it around that edge to remove um uh, people's eyes from seeing the gum i don't know if you understand what i'm saying so that's basically just it okay so thank you guys so much for staying with me thank you guys if you found this helpful please like share comment okay and i'll see us in my next video till then bye